up Mopar fam? I hope everybody out there is having a fantastic time. So today's video, I wanted to show you a brand new part that we got for Frostbite. And we got hooked up from Splab Auto Parts. They hooked us up with a brand new part to put on Frostbite to see if it will help out. Um, theory has it that, you know, this part can go either way um, for the way we're going to use it. But anyway, enough said, let's see what it is. So, what we got is a 8 PSI wastegate. And for many of you guys that don't know, wastegates are typically used on turbo applications. We're not running a turbo, we're running a centrifugal supercharger on Frostbite. But there is many people running a wastegate on a supercharger. And it more or less works the same way and does the same thing. But the object, guys, And here is the wastegate. This thing is massive. It is a absolute beast. Um, it's almost every bit of as big as the blow off valve from Torque Storm. This thing is huge. It is not rinky dink by no means. It is a nice size wastegate. So with that said, again, this is an eight PSI spring wastegate. And what that means is when we uh, when we build up to 8 PSI on the supercharger or 8 PSI boost, this spring is going to basically open the valve and it's going to leak out any extra boost. So the idea behind a wastegate is if we set it at 8 PSI and it tries to make any more boost, it's going to you know waste out that extra boost and try to keep us at the 8 PSI. Now the idea we have with this is we can install this and as you guys know we're currently running about seven and a half psi right now on the torque storm supercharger on the stock block 57 motor we're still on stock pistons and all of that and eight psi is typically about the limit you know for longevity if you're running boost on a, on a stock 57 so the idea guys is if we install this it's going to be eight psi is roughly what we should peak at but this is going to allow us to run a much smaller pulley and what that's going to do is we're going to build boost super fast we will build that 8 psi much quicker and then what's going to happen is when it tries to go and you know over boost this wastegate will bleed off anything past 8 psi so basically in theory this should give us a tremendous amount of download torque because we're going to be able to build boost faster, much quicker off the line. And then we should be able to hold the 8 PSI in theory down the track. Now, I have seen some videos where people tried this, you know, idea on superchargers running on a dyno. And per the dyno, you know, they did pick up pretty good gains down low and mid range which makes sense. You know, you're spinning your supercharger faster. It's going to build boost faster. Now, what I did see is it looked like on the top end of the dyno, they actually was losing some power. And that could be due to, you know, it's bleeding out more than it should. Um, not really sure. You know, there's a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people say they work great. A lot of people say it really didn't do anything for them. But what I can't find is some actual track data as in you know somebody put this on they had some before they installed one of these track times and some after track times so what I'm curious is if we install the smaller pulley that I have from torque storm and we install this 8 psi wastegate from splab I'm thinking we're going to pick up some tremendous down low power right off the line mid range. We should see a big significant increase in power and you know, just getting the truck moving. Now what happens when we start peaking at our shifts 
and we hit that 8 PSI, I don't know. You know, are we going to lose any power? Is the gains down low and mid-range going to take over the small loss that we might see right at peak power when we hit the 8 PSI? I don't know. But idea, we're going to install it. We're going to find out. We should answer some questions for anybody else looking into this idea. And uh, we'll have some actual track data, not a dyno, um, you know, a couple passes on the dyno or whatever. My, you know, to be honest, dynos are ac absolutely trash to me. I, I don't care about dynos. Um, to me, I think they're worthless except for tuning your car on the dyno as a tool. Um, you know, you can't get to the track and actually tune your, your vehicle on the track, you know, or go down the street with your tuner or something and get it tuned. A dyno is a great tool to run your car, you know, at peak power, sitting still in a room, you know, to tune your car. As far as seeing power numbers and everything, I don't care. Um, most of the time, what you're gonna see on the dyno is probably nowhere near what you actually make. It's gonna be pretty far off. It may be close, who knows, but a lot goes into dynoing. You know, the person operating your car on the dyno you know, do they, actually, do they actually run it, you know, all the way up? Do they run it in the right gear? You know, do they run it through the power band correctly? There's a lot that goes into dyno in, and most of the time, it's a fail. Um, most of the time, the vehicle just doesn't get operated correctly on the dyno, and there's sometimes that vehicles just don't work good on the dyno. Um, some vehicles work much better on a dyno than other vehicles. Best test, take your car, take your truck, take your vehicle to the track. You're going to get an ET time, you're going to get a quarter mile time, you're going to get a mile per hour time, and most of the time there's a scale. You know, most of these tracks have a weight scale. Pull your car, your vehicle up on the scale, find out how much it weighs, boom, bam, a little bit of calculation, and you know how much power you're putting to the tires. And that's honestly, I think, much more accurate than putting it on a dyno. Um, again, it's too many things going to the dyno. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run this thing. We're going to try it. We're going to run it on the track. We're going to see what happens. But again, this wastegate looks absolutely awesome. If you're interested in this wastegate from Splab, I will have the link in the description of this video. So go check it out. Click on it. Take you right to the store so you can find it. And this thing's not super expensive. Um, it's a very, very hefty looking, filling wastegate for the money. I was gonna bring my tools here to actually test this and show you guys how it, you know, how it worked, what the spring actually opened up to and everything. Um, and I, I honestly, I forgot the tools. I'll probably do another video on this thing showing the actual test of when this valve opens with pressure on it. But I will tell you, when I tested this valve, it literally started to crack at about eight PSI, maybe a, just a smudge past it. Um, but it did not open too early, which is a no-go. A lot of cheap ones, um, some that don't work very good, you know, you might it might say it has an eight PSI spring in it, and it actually starts to crack the spring or the valve open at like six and a half or six PSI. Um, not very good, you know, if that happens, because you're you're obviously not going to make the boost that you want, you obviously don't want one that's bad on the other end where it you know you're trying to get an eight psi wastegate and it don't crack open till ten. Um, this one is very is very accurate. It's right at the eight psi mark. It started to bleed open, and I feel good in that. So again, I'm gonna try. I'm I've been super busy. I'm gonna try to get this thing installed within the next week or two and get some test data on it see if it helps and it should help somebody else out there so heck yeah guys there you go check it out super clean nice finish again i'm very impressed with this wastegate there is also a few different colors available I chose the blue one. I think they had a red one, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they had a silver one. I'm, I can't, I honestly can't remember. But I know there was, I think, a red and a blue. 
and I went with the blue one. But again, I'm super stoked on this as I want to get some data on this and see if the theory works well with the supercharger. So that is that. Other thing I want to kind of give you guys a sneak peek on, I'm not going to show you yet, but also from Splab Auto Parts, we have some more parts that I am super excited to get installed. This is going to basically dress up the engine bay tremendously. Not going to take them out of the box yet. That'll be another video, but maybe a sneak peek. Y'all can take some guesses, but these things are super sick. I can't wait to get these things installed. I can't wait to show you guys. Video coming up very soon. And with that said, what's in this box, guys, will replace something on Frostbite. And I think I'm going to give away those items. So when we get these installed, I'm going to give away the old items, and I'm sure somebody's going to want them, as they're very awesome. I got a hookup through uh, Joey Blagio at Hot Damn Racing on the items that I'm probably going to give away. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to have a chance to win those items when we get the new ones installed. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss nothing. Hit that like button, don't forget to share the videos as much as possible guys, and we will see you on the next one.